up, dork? Why are you taking up the whole couch? I thought your lame ass had a date. I'm sorry? I couldn't hear you over the pathetic whining sound. What was it again? Uh, that's it? Slide it over. I'm sitting down. Now that your face is embedded in a pillow, you want to tell me what's going on? <laughs> Whoa. Hey, are you crying? Because I'm not really prepared to deal with that. You want to tell me what's going on? So... So you guys were going to have lunch, but they never showed? But you tried calling them to ask why? No response? All right, listen, you and I both know that your date sucked. No, don't deny it. If you guys set a date and they don't have the guts to tell you they're not interested, nah, man, that's bull. My advice, the next time you see them, you march up to them. Get like two inches away from their face and say, surprise to see me, bish. And then give them a good slap across the face. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't do that. <laughs> They'll probably sue you for it. <laughs> Seriously, though. They're not worth your time. One of these days, you find someone who actually appreciates you and won't ghost you. You deserve way better than that. So chin up. Go wash your face. And I'll make some popcorn. We can watch your favorite TV show. I'll tolerate it. Don't worry. <laughs> it's not my fault. You have sucky taste in TV shows. Oh, and by the way, if you tell anyone that this ever happened, you're dead. Cool? Cool.